Welcome to the fifth section of the course. In this section, we are going to learn the concepts and applications of recurrent neural networks, along short-term memory networks, and gated recurrent units. We are going to build a simple recurrent neural network model and improve it. Then, finally, we are going to train and test the network. The concepts and applications of recurrent neural networks, along short-term memory networks, and gated recurrent units. In this video, we are going to learn the concepts of recurrent neural networks, long short-term memory networks, and gated recurrent units. We are also going to look at some of the common applications of RNNs. Let's first look at how recurrent neural networks are different from normal neural networks. The most important difference is that normal artificial neural networks can't deal with sequential data and they lack memory. Like a sentence, for example. The position of every word in a sentence can have a huge impact on the meaning. Consider the following sentences. Yesterday, a man was beat by a dog. Yesterday, a dog was beat by a man. They have the same words, but completely different meanings. Recurrent neural networks learn representations of sequences in which order is important. To learn these representations of sequences, they need to have a memory of the past. Basically, every time we feed a word as input, we also feed a state variable that captures all the past characters that have been fed. The value of the state variable, which is the green box in the image, allows the prediction of the next character to be improved by the past characters. In a non-recurrent neural net, we have weights to learn from training. In recurrent nets, we have an additional matrix that learns to represent the past state. So the state vector at the end of inputting, for instance a full sentence, is a representation of that sentence, taking into account the order of input. This can then be used for various tasks, such as translating that sentence to another language. Long short-term memory networks, usually just called LSTMs, are a special kind a recurrent neural network capable of learning long-term dependencies. In standard recurrent neural networks, this repeating module will have a very simple structure such as a single TAN layer. The repeating module in an LSTM contains four interacting layers. The key to LSTMs is the cell state, the horizontal line running through the top of the diagram. The cell state is kind of like a conveyor belt. It runs straight down the entire chain with only some small interactions. It's easy for information to flow along it. LSTMs have the ability to remove or add information to the cell state, carefully regulated by structures called gates. Gates are a way to optionally let information through. They are composed out of a sigmoid neural net layer 
and a pointwise multiplication operation. The sigmoid layer outputs numbers between 0 and 1, describing exactly how much of each component should be read through. The first step in our LSTM is to decide what information we are going to throw away from the cell state. This decision is made by a sigmoid layer called the forget gate. The next step is to decide what new information we are going to store in the cell state. This has two parts. First, a sigmoid layer called input gate decides which values need to be updated. Next, a TAN layer creates a vector of new candidate values that could be added to the state. Finally, we need to decide what we are going to output. This output will be based on our cell state, but will be a modified version. First, we run a sigmoid layer which decides what parts of the cell state we are going to output. Then we put the cell state through a TAN function and multiply it by the output of the sigmoid gate, so that the network only outputs the parts it has decided to. Another type of cell that is used in recurrent neural networks is a gated recurrent unit. The difference with LSTM cells is that a gated recurrent unit merges the forget and input gates into a single update gate. It also merges the cell state and hidden states. The resulting model is simpler than standard LSTM models. It trains much faster and thus doesn't require as powerful hardware. The difference in the result is small. Usually gated recurrent units perform a bit worse than LSTM cells, but they take much less time to train. Still, if you want to get the best performance, an LSTM cell is your best bet though you can still try with a gated recurrent unit because in some cases it can perform just as good as a LSTM, just much less computationally expensive. Let's take a look at some of the more common applications of recurrent neural networks. Natural language processing, machine translation, image captioning, speech recognition, and sentiment analysis.